It's five o'clock in the dark. I got my titties hanging out. Boom, 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 boom. That's not how this is supposed to go. Anyway, guys, how you doing? It's your queen goddess, Levin and Moroso. Boom. Let me tell you about my day today. I had such a relaxing Wednesday. Wednesdays are when I just replenish. I get my mind right. I wax my coochie. I shake my titties. I wash and dye my hair. I do my nails. It is just a wellness wagon Wednesday. I make my eat ass jokes. All the nine. All the goods. So today was a very relaxing day. I've been working on not multitasking as women whether we like it or not we're always gonna we're trying to maximize our time as people and i learned that multitasking is actually not good for the brain because the brain's like well what do i focus on and i noticed that when i give something a hundred percent laser focus just doing one thing at a time i get it done and it's efficient we're trying to do a little over here do a little over here next thing you know you have a whole bunch of half things that are done you know what i'm saying so it's been hard for me to not like watch tv open up my laptop get on my phone all at the same time while trying to watch a show and do dishes and do laundry but today was great so today i just i got up am i making tea was that somebody else i'm gonna stay out of going folks doing this so today i started off my day I did a little clean ting after that. I spent, and I timed myself because I suck at time management. So from like seven to nine, seven to nine, I did cleaning and listened to Sis's album, which is a super fire, by the way. After that, I did some laundry. I did the sheets. I did the towels. I did the rugs. And then after that, I mind you, cleaning is so therapeutic for me. It just, it just, it's like the stimulation of just like the ASMR of the sound. Okay, um, what was I saying? Yeah, ASMR in the cleaning. Okay, so after I did the sheets and the rugs, I started binging one of my favorite shows. I love White Lotus. I was in the era of rooting for everybody black and then White Lotus came and whooped everybody's ass at the Emmys. I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. I've been waiting for Issa Rae to get an Emmy for five years and here they come first year, limited series, only six episodes and they get over like 18 Emmys. Where my HBO Max? So I watched the series and loved it. It was kind of slow in the beginning, like the first three episodes, and then it was just whoop, took all the way off. And I was like, I can see why y'all got it. And I ain't gonna hold you. So now I'm binging the second season. Obviously, it doesn't compare to the first one because the first one is just is just a banger. I'm about maybe almost done with the series. I binged it pretty much the whole day because it's a short series. So um, take them about maybe seven hours. I had to date to really decompress, smoke a little. <laughs> And just really reset for the week. Wednesdays are like my Mondays. I get to just reset and recoup. Um, but yeah, if you haven't watched White Lotus, uh, you're bugging. So that's pretty much how I spent my day today. That is my vlog. I didn't do too much recording because I really stayed off of technology majority of the day. I didn't even do much work. I just wanted to unplug, unwind, and just enjoy some good old-fashioned entertainment and not try to multitask. It was incredibly hard to the point where I just didn't charge my phone or my laptop. Cause I just was like, if it dies, it dies. Like the internet can wait. Whoo! I got that out. All right, I'm ready for a new year soon. Um, I'm loving these daily vlogs. I hope you guys love them too. Uh, we keeping it real over here. Oh, and before I forget, right when I was applying for part-time jobs, trying to get this money to support my acting career because everybody knows acting ain't cheap, I booked a job, y'all. I booked my first commercial. I'm nervous. I, I'm trying not to cry on camera because every time I tell my family, you know, I always want to impress them and hope that they have the best impression of me. Oh my God, tears are trying to form. Not those don't cry, nigga. Hold on, please. Wait. So anyway, we're back. And it just confirmed for me that being a creative is what I'm supposed to do. Um, entertainment is what I'm supposed to do. It's like every time I wanted to give up on my entertainment career, I always had a breakthrough. So Saying all this to say that keep going, whatever it is that you love to do, uh, whether it is work for a company that you enjoy or entrepreneurial business or entertainment, whatever, science, because I do like a good science and I love smart niggas. Um, there's always going to be a breakthrough. It's all, It always comes at the very last when you're like, yo, I'm about to throw in a towel, I'm done. Uh, keep going. It was confirmation for me that I'm doing the right thing and I'm on the right path. But some days it gets shaky. I got ghosted from a job that I applied to. I went to two interviews and they ghosted me on the third, never heard from them again. And they're like, oh, we'll be in touch. And then I was applying for jobs and never getting response back, getting, uh, what was it? Oh, we went with a better candidate. And then right in May, when I was about to accept a full-time position, I got signed to my dream agency. So 
not to try to throw it in anybody's face. I just want to use this moment to encourage you and encourage myself that I'm doing the right thing, even though the road is unpaved, uncharted territory. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get off this camera before I get teary eyed because just saying it out loud is uh, it's kind of affirming. All right. <laughs> Do y'all see the fake water coming out? I'm about to get my bottle on when I cut this camera off. All right, y'all. Um, have a great Wednesday. And I hope, you know, me pouring into myself is pouring into you. <sighs> Let's don't cry. All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs>